the project is on promoting nature-based solution for landscape restoration in Makweni County while strengthening national monitoring at the national level for forest and landscape restoration. We are working in Kibwezi East and Boni East. The main focus of the project was to try and address some of the key challenges the country is experiencing. Escalating land degradation, biodiversity loss, food insecurity. Well, like in Kenya, you have over 30% of people experiencing food insecurity during the year. The researchers needed to know what are the real issues from the farmers themselves and how best to address them. We carried out what we call a context analysis. We realized that they don't have sources of quality tree planting material and we also realized farmers just plant trees, the wrong trees, the wrong places and they don't manage them. We realized nearly 70% of the water sources are actually groundwater and rivers. Now these rivers are also seasonal at some point. So seasonal rivers means that during the dry season, farmers have no water. And you realize that farmers would walk up to 15 kilometers one way to look for water during the dry season. Farmers did not have capacity on rainwater harvesting technologies. Despite the much water falling during the rainy season, it just all flows to the Indian Ocean. Where do they get their energy sources for cooking? 95% of the farmers in Makweni County depend on wood fuel and they use the three stones cook stove and many times they would also walk long distances to look for fuel wood. We were able to hold a workshop and we capacitated many farmers through the trainer of trainer model on how to do restoration. The second thing we identified during that training is that farmers were willing to try out different species. What they lacked is the knowledge. They were willing to implement rainwater harvesting, but they didn't have not only the knowledge, but they didn't have the tools. Through the project, we were able to implement in situ practices, things like terracing, having xi pits, and this was a game changer because you could see where they did the double dug beds or where they have the xi pits or where they have the terraces. There is remarkable difference between performance of maize, some reporting three to four times, while in other places there is even crop failure. I have encountered ICRAF uh, through their UK Pact, where I witnessed them change lives and matters addressing land degradation. I have seen the enormous work that they have done on farm ponds that have gone a long way in enabling those people to have social livelihoods, grow high quality seedlings, enable them to have water tanks. That has gone a long way in addressing the issue of food security and also mitigating the adverse climate change there. In fact, the intervention has changed my life because I am able to get something to sell. My wife can sell something. We are able to eat well, balanced diet, because we never used to get enough money to buy vegetables from the market. But now we can produce. And even the neighbors, they can come and buy here. We capacitated 33 nursery operators and gave them training from how to raise seedlings so that we have healthy seedlings from the tree nursery to the farm. Tulifunza vile tunaweza panga miti kwa nursery. Na mbegu tunaangalia ile miti iko machua. Ndio tunatoa mbegu, tunaweka kwa seedbed, ndio tunatransfer tunaweka kwa nini? 
supporting papers. Kuna panga mzuri ndio nazari iwe clean na iwe napendeza. In ICRAF we talk about the right trees for the right place for the right purpose. We also need to say growing them the right way. Because we realize there is a gap on how the tree is planted. Ikra wamenifunza ile mafunzo ya kushimba shimo ya futi mbili kwa mbili unaweka mbolea mchanga unachanganya unarudisha mchanga kiwango fulani unaweka biochar unaweka miti yako hapo hiyo miti inakuwa kwa mwendo wa kazi saa hii ukienda kwa, kwa shamba tutaona mkao imekuwa kwa mwendo wa kazi mpaka ikafikia e, futi kumi. utaona tofauti hapo mbeleni nilikuwa nikienda shambani naenda ninakata mti wote ninachoma makaa ya kutumia kwa kupika ninakata kuni naleta nyumbani za kupika lakini nilipokwenda nikapata mafunzo sasa ikawa nikaona huo ni mtu mbaya kwa karibu mazingira manake miti ilikuwa inaendelea kuisha kabisa bila kupata nikikata sipandi nyingine na inaendelea na kuisha tu lakini kwa hivi sasa nimepata mafunzo nimeanza kutunza ile miti nimeipata ikimea na nimeanza kupanda miti nyingine na hii miti iko shambani ndio nipate kuni bandara ya kuchoma makaa saa hii na, naenda nafanya pruning nakata zile branches na mendeni ule mti ndio kuwa uendelea na kukua ukuwa wa manufaa kuliko kuondoa alafu zile branches ndio nakata kata naleta kuni nyumbani through the project and through the participatory approach we have been able to support 60 households to have efficient cook stoves and they have a chimney the importance of the chimney as you saw it's because it helps remove the smoke and therefore remove that indoor pollution which is one of the challenges the project aimed to address in terms of the nature-based solution and even mitigating climate change. Kwa tunakata miti tu kiorelaolela tu kwa tunajua kufuruni tunakata tu tunakata tu yote. Na ikelea hata singine sijakauka moshi inatoka mengi ukipika. Sasa hii tumeletewa jiko tumejengewa jiko nyingine nzuri sana. Sasa mimi vile niko na allergy. Ah sasa hii niko sisumbuliwe sana vile. Eh yeah, naendelea mzuri na hiyo jiko na jiko yenyewe natumia kuni kidogo kabisa. Inapika haraka. In Makweni, we, we talk about inclusivity, and I believe we are the best county in matters of inclusivity. We leave nobody behind. Matters and environmental conservation is not a reserve for the few, it's for everybody. This project is aligned to the 15 billion tree growing program in Kenya, which aims to increase tree cover by 30% and restore 10.6 million hectares of land. With more support, we are able to offer similar training to other counties in collaboration with the county leadership to ensure that such practices are scaled wider.